Shelly, stay put at home while we go to work, all right? But, but I don't want to be alone. Shelly's scared. You're a big girl now, Shelly. And do you remember what I've told you? Big girls don't get scared. We'll be home before you know it. Goodbye, sweetie. Wait! Mom! Dad! Don't... I guess it's just you and me, Mr. Bunny. You're not going to leave me too, right? Of course you're not. You're my only friend. Shelly, I'm sorry. My business partner is here and we're going to be very busy with work stuff. But look, new friends. Friends? Uh-huh. You see, my business partner has children, too. They're twins, Raphael and Edward. Why don't you all play together for a while? Oh, um, I... All right, have fun, you three. Hi there. Hi. Hey, you okay? You're so quiet. Hello? Ed, stop that. It's rude. Sorry. Don't mind him. He means no harm. I'm Raphael, and this is my younger brother, Edward. Only by five minutes! What's your name? I'm... I'm Shelly. I'm... this is... This is Mr. Bunny. Mr. Bunny, huh? <laughs> what? You're talking to a stuffed animal! <laughs> Ed, stop being... <laughs> huh? <laughs> Did I do something funny? Uh, I just didn't expect that. I guess it was kind of funny. <laughs> but thank you for acknowledging my friend. Hey, now with us around, you get to have real friends. <laughs> Come on, let's play! Yeah, let's play! Huh? Oh, that was a dream? It's been ten years since I met the twins, hasn't it? As a kid, I didn't have many friends. I frequently changed schools because of my parents' jobs, so making permanent friends was difficult. I'm glad I got to meet those two, though. They were my first real friends. I wonder how Ed and Raph are doing now. I heard they studied abroad. <sighs> well, no use of thinking about them now. I better get ready quickly. I wouldn't want to miss class. Good morning, Mom! Dad! Good morning, Shelly. Sit here. We have French toast for breakfast today. Mm, French toast! That's my favorite! Dear, let me help out. What's the occasion, Dad? Are you having a meeting today? I have a very important transaction today. I won't be returning until late at night. Oh, I see. So? How are you coping with the new house? Technically, it's not new. We lived here ten years ago before we leased it and moved out. Do you remember that, Shelly? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now we're back! Because of... what was it again? The lease is over after ten years? No, because the lessee ran away. <laughs> Dear, don't spout nonsense! I was just joking. Yes, the contract is over, and now since no one is interested in renting it, we'll just live here for the time being. Yeah, yeah, I know. I wonder how Raph and Ed are doing, though. Dad, are you okay? <clears throat> ah, sorry. You know, I'm actually meeting their father today for a transaction. Really? Yes. So is Raph and Ed with him? Hmm, I don't know. Oh. It was silly to get my hopes up. We're adults now. They probably have their own lives. I doubt the twins would stick around with their father doing something as boring as a transaction. Well, I'll be going now. Good luck on your transaction, Dad! Will do. 
Take care, honey. Phew, made it in time. I'd better go to the lecture hall. Professor's going to kill me if I'm a minute late. Oh, it's finally over. Music theory is so boring. I wish we can just play the piano peacefully without adding any mumbo jumbo. Hmm, I guess I'll practice a bit before going home. Uh, that piece, it sounds familiar. Where have I heard it before? Remember now, it's Box Air on G string. It sure brings back memories. I wonder who's playing it though. Hmm, maybe I can go and have a little peek. Well, what a beautiful sound. I didn't know that the arrangement could sound this way. I thought it should sound hopeful and perhaps a bit romantic, but he makes it sound so melancholic. Why does he look so... sad? Drop, but wait, no, I meant your performance was excellent. I couldn't help but be drawn into it. Your could it be Shelley? Huh? huh? How did you? I never expected you to be here. Do you remember me? I'm. <laughs> Oh crap, it's my mother! I forgot it's my turn to buy groceries! Mom's gonna kill me! Uh... But is it really okay for me to meet her again? Yes, it was this piece. That guy was playing this piece before. No wonder it seemed familiar. This is one of my favorite pieces when I was a kid. It sure brings back memories. Who was that guy though? He seems to know me. Maybe he's one of my classmates? Next time I see him, I'll make sure to ask his name. Huh? I wonder who that could be. Is dad back? He should be home in a few minutes. Why don't you sit down? All right. Ah, it's Dad's business partner. Wait, wasn't he also Ed and Raph's father? I definitely recognize him. Huh? Who's that? Wait a minute, isn't he? Wait, what's he doing here? So it was you. Uh, what? You remember, right? Remember? Can it be? Raph? Oh my gosh, Raph, I missed you so much! What are you doing here? Ed's here too, right? Mm well... Guess. <gasps> You betcha! You didn't think I'd allow Raph to come here all by himself without me, did ya? <laughs> Raph, what's wrong? <laughs> Raph thinks he's too good to talk to me. That's not it! Oh no, did something happen between you two? Well, whatever it is, you better set those differences aside when you're with me. Let's go back to how it used to be. Things can't always go back to the way they used to be. And why?
Why not? Yeah, why not? Because! I'm not feeling too good. I better sit down. Ev, he, he looks so pale. Well, never mind that, Grouch. This house sure brings back memories. Wow, you still remember? Of course! It's funny how fate works. To think that we're here in the same house again. After ten years! Yeah, I barely recognized you! Well, I recognize you. After all, even after ten years, your fashion sense is still the worst. I mean, look at that shirt! It looks like you're still wearing pajamas. <laughs> what? How dare you? This is my favorite shirt! And bold of you to say that when you can't even wear a jacket properly! What do you mean? This is fashion, I tell you! Fashion! I have the coolest sense of fashion in the whole wide world! <sighs> cool sense of fashion, my ass. Why do you have to look all flashy? And what's up with the edges of your hair? It's blood. <sighs> have you always been so morbid? <laughs> Can't you take a joke? No. <laughs> What's so funny? You two had me worried for a second. Worried? About what? About us, dummy! It's been ten years since we met, and the first thing Shell sees is her two friends bickering with each other. I know you're a machine. At least show some sympathy for her poor heart, yeah? Sorry. <laughs> now that's more like it. Hey, I just got an idea. You'll love it. Let's explore! Ed, we're not kids anymore. Are you kidding me? How long? Let's go, Shell! Hey, don't kidnap me! <laughs> Good one! <laughs> These two... really... Oh, yes! This place brings back memories! Do you remember how we used to play hide-and-seek here? Ed always hides in the same spot. It's too easy to find him. I know, right? He always hides under the sofa. I can't believe you still remember that, Raph. <laughs> oh, and remember how we used to jump and dance on the sofa? Yeah, and we vomited right after! <laughs> yeah! We created such a scene! Mom gave me a good scolding because of that. I told the two to stop, but none of you listened. Wow, your bedroom really didn't change. It's just how I remembered it. W wait what are you two doing in my- Ed, it's rude to- Hey, Shell. You still have your assortment of Barbie dolls? My what? You know, those dolls you always played with. I remember you being picky about the clothes they wear. Which is ironic, because you don't even care about your own clothes. Shh, quite you. You could have at least made them a bit more... dolled up. Ed, were you always this overbearing? <laughs> like you should talk. You forced us to play with those dolls. And House, too. We were playing with Shelly. It was only fair for us to play what she wanted once in a while. And now, it all makes sense why you were always the mom when we played house. Excuse me? Hey, is that Mr. Bunny? Huh? Oh, yup, that's Mr. Bunny, all right. Man, can't believe you still have him. And in such prime condition, too. That's because she actually took care of her toys. Unlike a certain someone. Ooh, I wonder what's inside. Ha hey, no touching my things! Eh? But, but it's exploration time! No exploration in my room! Get out, all of you, out! Oh, it's so dusty in here. <coughs> oh, damn. <coughs> 
Yeah. That's why we shouldn't be up here. But no, of course you just had to ignore me. Man, that couch sure has seen better days. Is it the one we vomited on? Hey, you think the candy we stuck between the cushions are still there? Ooh, let's find out! Seriously? You're going to try to find some old candy that... Ugh, never mind. <laughs> Raph's just jealous, because we don't plan to share any of our findings. Oh my god, Ed, you don't plan on eating it, do you? Come on. I'm not that stupid. Yeah, give him more credit. Huh? What's this? A tape recorder? Whoa! Talk about nostalgia. Was this mine? Yeah. You used to listen to these classical mixtapes or whatever on it all the time. Huh. Yeah, now that you mention it, I do remember. I wonder if they're still around here somewhere. Hey, maybe they're around somewhere. Stop. Just stop it. Raph, are you alright? Let's just leave. Those tapes are probably long gone anyway. Eh, you're not fun. Old tapes, hmm. <sighs> what a day! I didn't see Ed leave with Raph and their father. He really seemed pissed Raph cut our adventure so short. Oh well, we'll be having lots of adventures again soon. I wonder why they came back though. I thought they were studying abroad. Perhaps it's because of their father's business? <sighs> No use of thinking of it now. I can just ask Raph tomorrow. After all, we're studying the same university, right? Hmm, I look for Raph everywhere, but he doesn't seem to be in any practice room. What's going on there? Wow, did you hear his performance? His vibratos were amazing. I know, right? And his bowing techniques? Oh, so good. But did you notice? When he plays, he never puts any emotions in it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. I've never seen him smile, either. <laughs> but that Raphael guy sure impressed the professors. No wonder he's called a violin prodigy. Raph? Violin prodigy? How come I've never heard of it? But is he really as emotionless as they say? When I saw him playing the other day, he looked anything but emotionless. Shelly? <gasps> Who's that girl? Does she know him? It's that weirdo from the piano division. The one who comes to class wearing pajamas. Hey, I can hear you, you know! Uh, come on. Let's just talk in another place. I can't believe it. Raph has made a mark in the music industry while I'm just... Shelly? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Just wondering why you came here. I thought you studied abroad. My father had some business to do here for a few months. And the university I enrolled in had an exchange program with this one. Hence, why I'm here. That means you're returning once the program is over? I guess so. Don't look so sad all of a sudden. There's still some time before I leave, and besides... It's not like we're not going to see each other again. <laughs> You're right, Raph. You sure have a funny way of cheering people up. I wasn't... And what about Ed? Is he having an exchange program here too? Don't know. Don't care. What? What kind of an answer is that? Look, I don't know what happened to you two these past ten years, but both of you need to man up. If there's a problem, then you should solve it quickly! Not everything is a puzzle, Shelly. Th then tell me, what's up with you two? <sighs> it's complicated. Tell me! I can't! 
and I won't. Seriously? I've never heard of twins not getting along before. And they said he never plays with emotions. Either they have bad eyesight, or he only lets his emotions pour out in his peace. Wait! Stop! Stop! Sorry. I must have done it again. I play this piece every time I feel anxious. Bach? But why? What's so special about- uh, So you don't remember, huh? H huh? Never mind that. Wait! I can play that piece too! On the piano! Why don't we play it together? Like how we always used to back then. Very well, then. Raph, this piece is supposed to be a tad bit hopeful, at the very least. But why do you make it sound so bitter? Does it have something to do with your relationship with Ed? Or perhaps with all the burdens you carry from being called a violin prodigy? Stop. It's as if you're drifting. Far, far away. But at the same time, this reminds me of the days we spent together. You, me, and we were inseparable, weren't we? I really wish that. You're going home? Yeah! Do you mind if I come with you? Sure, you don't even need to ask. You'll be staying over a bit, right? I can prepare some snacks. Uh, sure, I guess. Yay! Raph is coming with me! Ah, uh, this is certainly going to be a good day! What took you guys so long? Ed! <laughs> nice to see you, too. Since when did you become so strong? Strong? No way! You just got weak! Huh? Raph, what's wrong? Get over here, you dork! You know what? I have some things to do. You stay here! You promised to stay and have some snacks with me! Yes, you, not him! Damn, that's cold, bro. Don't you dare call me that! Stop being so stubborn! You... stay! Come on, please. At least do this for me. <sighs> I... Fine, but only for a snack. Yay! Oh, you know you'll be staying for much longer than that! We're not gonna let you leave! Damn it, what have I gotten myself into? Snack? Don't you have anything healthier? Hey, I made these, you eat these. Yeah, live a little. I want to keep living. That's the point. Cookies won't kill you, Raph. I guess they do smell pretty good. Mm-hmm. See? Good, huh? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we play hide-and-seek? Woo, I love that game. Ed, are you five years old? You're just jealous because I'm the fun one, right, Shell? Oh, I'm not getting involved in that argument. Because you know it's me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll play too. Just don't hide in a wardrobe and get sucked into another dimension or something. All right, you're it. What? Oh, crap! <sighs> Why am I always it?
14, 15, 16, oh, no. 18, 9, there! 20. Ready or not, here I come. Jelly. <gasps> Ed! Where did he go? Is he hiding? Huh? What is this? Wait, this looks... Shelly, wait! Huh? Found you! Damn it! You could hide better than that. Ugh, you gave me away! I did not! I just wanted to see where you were! By the way, what were you looking at? Huh? Oh, there seems to be a trap door under here. A trap door? <sighs> Whoa, cool! <sighs> not cool! Yes, cool! Unfortunately, it's locked. It is? I don't remember it being locked. Wait, you remember this trap door? Well, yeah. We found it on one of our adventures, remember? Hmm. I wonder why it's locked, then. We should try opening it! Doors are locked for a good reason, Ed. Just leave it alone. That's no fun! Secrets are meant to be uncovered. And besides, isn't that your padlock, Shell? Mine? Oh, right! This was a lock for my bicycle! I remembered I made a puzzle for this combination. But where did I... Shelly. Uh, the classical music tape! A puzzle? In a tape? I liked to hide puzzles when I was a kid. I remember hiding the combination to my bicycle's padlock in a tape recording featuring classical music. We should find that tape. Then we can uncover the secrets of the trap door! Yeah! I can't wait to go down there! How could you want to go back there, Ed? I told you. Doors are locked for a reason. They should stay locked. Raph. I... I've been here too long. I have stuff I need to do. Raph, wait! What just happened? Raph has eh, always been a little paranoid. It's probably not as dangerous as he thinks. Anyway, you should really find that tape. We can solve the puzzle together. Yeah, let's solve it to provided the tape wasn't thrown out. Huh, I'm starting to think this is hopeless. That tape is ten years old, and we just moved back into this house. There's no way it could have survived. Mom? Oh, hi, sweetie. I was just doing a little spring cleaning. What is all this stuff? Just what it looks like. Junk. None of it worth keeping. Oh, shoot! Uh, here, I'll help you clean up. Huh? This... <gasps> Mom, can I keep this? Uh... Sure. It's my tape! I've been looking all over through this! Yeah, of course, honey. If it's yours. Thanks, Mom! <sighs> I found it! I really found it! <laughs> now Ed and I can solve this mystery! Okay, I think that's enough practice for today. I wonder if the twins are coming today. And I doubt they will. After all, Dad doesn't have a meeting with their father today. Hmm? Coming! Howdy. Yee! <laughs> that trained you well, cowgirl. But what brings you here from the wild, wild west? I mean, I thought your father isn't coming today. I just came to visit. And I have an inkling that you were expecting me. Or was I wrong? Nope, you're spot on! Guess what? I found the old cassette! Ooh, that's great news! Now we can solve the puzzle and open the padlock! Yeah! Where's Raph, by the way? Oh. That guy had some... 
violin rehearsals or something. Ah, I see. Anyway, your piano skills have tremendously improved, Shell. I heard you playing earlier. Tchaikovsky's Waltz Opus 40, number two. I just love waltzes. They make you want to dance all day. Then I hope you don't mind me waltzing into your house tonight. Of course not. Waltz right in. <laughs> Ed, I don't mean to sound like Raph or anything, but sometimes I wonder if you're just a kid in the skin of a 20-year-old. What do you mean? Anyway, would you like some cookies? Something warm, perhaps? Nah, I'm good. I'm more interested in the puzzle. How about we solve this mystery first? Alright, alright, jeez, you're so adventurous! I think you should solve it. After all, it's your puzzle. All right, then. Actually, I kinda already knew the combination. What? Why didn't you tell me? 
I didn't want to ruin the fun, but it seems the puzzles ended up too tricky for you. So, sorry to have to intervene. <laughs> nah, it's alright. Perhaps you were the missing piece all along. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, let's just get this thing out of the way. There we go. You okay, Sha- I just wish Raf was here. It'd be so much more fun with the three of us. <laughs> Raf didn't even want us going down there. You know how he is. He'd ruin half the fun. You're probably right. Now, shall you do the honors? Whoa. Uh, Ed, what are you doing? Exploring. What else? You're coming with me, right? Well, I... Shelly, please don't. What was that, Ed? Huh? I was just about to say. Don't be a scaredy cat and come down here. Uh. You have me here. But there's no need to be afraid. We'll go down together. You trust me, right? Of course I trust you! You're my best friend! <laughs> you... Shelly! Raph? No! It's no use. He locked us in. Raph would never do that! Oh, really? You've seen how he treated me. Raph isn't as nice as you remember him. But isn't locking us behind some strange trap door a bit excessive? I know, Raph. He would never do this. And you would never accuse him! See, he's trying to get us out! Is he really? Uh, I thought you said you trusted me. But you still chose him over me. Ed? That body is indeed Edward. I kept the corpse intact, for your sake. Let me show you what's really left of your precious little friend. <laughs> I personally prefer to preserve a corpse just the way I left them. <laughs> Shelly, Shelly. Why are you crying? Don't you understand? I did this... for you. Ugh. 
Shelly! <laughs> Ruff! Shelly. <coughs> shh, shh. Don't talk. Save your energy. Shelly. It would appear all my efforts were for naught. You still chose him. Every single time. It was him! Honestly, I'm being too generous letting you die together. But, sacrifices must be made to once again paint these walls in a beautiful crimson! Stop! Just stop this right now! I'm sorry, but I don't intend to stop! And I intend to savor this moment for as long as I desire. No! No! I'm sorry, uh, Shelly. I'm so sorry. I kept this from you. Against my better judgment, I kept this from you. Because everyone was afraid to resurface your trauma. I knew... I knew something wasn't right when I saw it appear in your house. The dead know nothing. He shouldn't be here. I... I really... I wanted to see him again. I don't believe ghosts are real, and yet... I chose to ignore all the red flags because I missed him so much! And now we're gonna die! Because of me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No. It's my fault. I shouldn't have been so stupid. You were only trying to protect me, and I chose to ignore you. And I ended up trusting a creature that isn't even Ed. I'm the one who should be sorry! <laughs> How sweet! It makes me sick! The taste of your fear is invigorating! <laughs> Too bad I can't savor it any longer! Close your eyes. Just close your eyes. It'll all be over soon. I remember when you used to hold me like that, you traitor! <laughs> well, now you can't escape. I'll always have you right here, splattered across the walls like a masterpiece! Welcome to my crimson pool! <laughs> Where are we? Uh, I don't know. I... I feel so light. Me too! It's like I'm... walking on the moon. <sighs> you two weren't supposed to be here yet. You're here so early. Come on. Let's go home.